Hello, people of YouTube, it's me. Thought that required an introduction. I'm here dancing in front of my poster, and we're gonna get started with the video of Trove's Flux Farming Delia. So let's get right into that. I'm gonna give you a little update into my, my character. All my classes are level 20. I have 13k power. And I have <laughs> my roommates back here going, <sighs> um, I have all of my biome recipes. And I do mean all of them. There you go. So I have gotten a little bit of popularity on that video, uh, three ways to farm Flux and Trove. And I wanted to make an update to that because it's been a couple months since that was posted. And economies change, people change. So we're gonna get into this and uh, hopefully post a better quality video for you guys who actually watched that video and watched the videos on my channel. And um, I have like 340 subscribers. So shout out to those people who actually watch my content and we will hopefully grow this channel ad infinitum and not be PewDiePie. So we're gonna go out in the world and I'm gonna show you uh, the best ways to farm Flux and Trove and uh, basically work from the easiest to perform methods and then go on into the hardest to perform methods. So let's get right into it. Your first method is going to be mining, but we are going to make a little amendum here as to what we're doing the mining for. Now, ideally you want to get to a Ignis biome of some kind, like Dragonfire Peaks. So we're gonna fly over, over there, and you can see it as uh, the fire icons on your mini-map, and it's a dark red color. So we're going that way now. Got a little bit of transit time. Blowing up things. There's a drip blocks destroyed contest this week. It's a good way to uh, at least place in the contest to get some. Time. Now, on about 50% of these biomes, you're going to have a hole that just leads into the bottom. <clears throat> what I have done to prevent having to use that um, is that if I can find a uh, cornerstone. You'll see that my uh, my chunk is like mined to bedrock, so you can see that I can see caves through my house there, and that usually allows me to find uh, these if they're not um if they're not above ground. So of course the easiest way to mine would be to either use the dragon. Nice way to do that. Use bombs. It usually clears up the entirety of the ore. And then if you have a high laser mancy like me, you can usually resort to laser mancy and do that with relative ease and of little cost to you. Now, ideally you want to go around and leech other players who are using their own resources to do some mining. But if you don't want to do that, uh, you can always just make bombs on your own. Now you can see in my inventory that I, I don't have much, uh, some shape stone, some primordial flame, but we'll pop back into the club world and we'll show you what we gather those resources for. You're going to want to gather infinium because it's, uh, the price of an infinium now is, um, I'm buying this, <laughs> uh, is 6.6 .6 each and so, uh, you can see in my inventory I have, you know, about 10k worth of Infinium here, so that's going to be some kind of use to be later. And we have Shapestone and Primal Flame. So what you're going to want to do with that is basically craft bombs out of it. It should be the only thing that you do. I t uh, because I like to keep my inventory clean, um, it says I have 53, I'll, I'll use 52. That way I can keep one of them in my inventory. 
and you know, cycle that out. So you get four bombs each for this, and Shapestone is currently, uh, let's see, 1.3 each, and then Primal Flame. is 19 each. So if you're using one Primal Flame and 10 Shape Stone, that comes out to 19 plus 13, so uh, 32 Flux. So 32 Flux for four bombs. And bombs are selling for uh, almost nine Flux a piece. So you can see that there's a four Flux profit every time there's a craft made. Rather than selling the materials, you can make the bombs and then sell the bombs and make about 10% more flux. So there is an advantage there. Our second method is, of course, you're going to want to try to fill out your, your biome recipes. And biome recipes are going to be something that you work towards for your mastery anyway. But after you finish that, you save them all. Come over here, see I have some Frontier recipes, got 14 of them. I'm gonna drop 10 over here in my inventory. And we're gonna sell some on the market. So we have Frontier recipes. It's 224 a piece. Um, I always undersell because it tends to be quick. And drop over here. I'm gonna go to. Uh, don't have to undersell by too much. 220, and um, those will sell relatively quick because uh, biome recipes are, of course, used for people's mastery. And if they have an extra 2k flux flying around, they will buy 10 recipes. Um, it takes for me about 30 minutes to sell them on average, but I've seen them sell immediately. I've seen them take overnight so it's up to you as to of course it'll change depending on how, how low you sell it for if I sell it for 210 I'll probably sell about five ten minutes yeah okay so our next and final method of getting flux here I'm gonna clear this uh, failing trophy out there's a reason it's in there for a mill it's because it's actually kind of difficult to obtain Found on the market for, for 100 flux. And you can only get the failing trophy from uh, the Fey biome on between a monster spawn of 16 blocks away from the edge of a biome boundary. And on top of that, it has a lower drop rate. So I, you can get it from bosses, and that's how I farmed my first one. So, our third way of gaining flux here is, of course, my favorite method, which is gathering radiant caches and radiant shards. You see here I have um, a 1200 radiant shards. Radiant shards I'll sell for five each right now. So, um, what you do, pop them in here. It doesn't take you any effort to actually obtain them. So, I always undersell by quite a bit. So I'm gonna fly around and uh, destroy some Radiant Giants and talk about why this. I think this is the be best method. Uh, you see, I started out with two caches, so we're not gonna count those out for our, you know, Radiant Cache farming. Radiant Caches drop from Sky Giants, I, I do believe, a rate of one to six. One in six. So every six you kill, you can expect to get a, a cache out of them. And because killing Sky Giants is a trivial venture, if you're of any kind of 10k or higher power, basically you get about 1,200 flux a minute. Or, no, sorry, every about 500. Uh, works to about... Um, about 10,000 to 15,000 flux an hour. 
which is fantastic. Um, it's even better if um, you consider the radiant shards you're getting out of this as well. You can use that for crafting. You can use that for your mastery for runecraft. Yeah, runecraft. Now, runecrafting allows you to also fill out your styles, which gives you additional mastery. Basically, it's a good way to get mastery. So those radiant stars just sold. Claim those. I'm kind of flying around in one direction. I have a habit whenever I'm doing these videos of not getting any sky giants, which is very unfortunate. We're making fries. I just got cut up potatoes and all that. So, we got a Radiant Cache, that's good. Got a, another Radiant Cache. So you can see how quick that can be, you can get like... I've had 50 Sky Giants not give me any Radiant Caches, and immediately afterward get like 6, one after another after another. It averages out to about 1 in 6. I know, because this is basically what I do for all of my Flux. Whenever I'm running low and need to farm it for some reason. Currently I'm trying to unlock all the dragons and get greater dragon caches. Yeah, there's another piece of advice I can give you guys about um, about dragons and unlocking them. And that's um, newer players, of course, uh, have difficulty understanding how to actually obtain the dragons. And they know that they have to farm 400 coins, but don't exactly know how, to, how about going that. So, what we can do is we'll farm about uh, 30,000 flux and buy a greater dragon cash. And it has uh, a chance of giving you uh, 10 dragon coins, 50 dragon coins, or 100 souls of a random dragon, which are tradable. So, that's like 400k there if you already have the dragon. And, I mean, it just pays out for itself in the end if you have all the dragons already. And uh, once you have all the dragons, save back 400 coins for whenever the next uh, dragon update comes out. Because I believe they're uh, supposed to be uh, releasing a mushroom dragon with the Earth Gem update. Whenever that will be. So, uh, keep, keep that in mind. I mean, I can one shot these giants if I thought you use a pot. So, I mean, if you get like bored. They only have 5 million HP or something like that. So if you uh, output 5 million damage faster than I can, um, then by all means this will be one of the best methods of farming for you. Crit, right? They dropped a bomb. I didn't even know they dropped bombs. Or was it one of these? Probably one of those. Alright. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments below, and I will make a video uh, addressing those comments. Um, basically, State of the Union address here is that I have about 340 subscribers. So, thank you all so much for your time and listening to my content. It's mediocre at best. I got a comment from uh, one of the people on the other um, uh, farming flux videos that uh, he was like, oh, a channel that doesn't use annoying music and then, you know, subscribed. So I'm like, I, I don't like the annoying music as much as you guys do. So. <laughs> All right. Uh, take it easy, guys. It has been Soaring Moon, aka Dina. I'm out.